It's an all Pac-12 matchup in the first game of the Women's College World Series from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The third seed Washington taking on six seeded Arizona. Washington had posted four shutouts in the NCAA tournament and Taryn Alvello looking to make it five. She had things rolling in the early going, striking out the side of a dangerous Arizona lineup, second in the nation in homers in the first inning. Bottom of the fourth, though, Arizona starter Taylor McQuillan holding her own. Gets a couple of strikeouts right there to end the inning. Then in the top of the fifth, Alvello getting some help from her defense. Reina Carano with the pop foul to left, caught by Sammy Reynolds. A diving grab near the wall in foul territory. Terrific grab there from the freshman. Top of the sixth, still no score. The nation's leading home run hitter, Jesse Harper, stepping to the plate for Arizona, and she goes to right center field for her 29th homer of the season. It's a solo shot to give Arizona a 1-0 lead. But in the bottom half of the inning, the first pitch of the frame, it's Reynolds doing it with the glove earlier. Now she's doing it with the stick. Launches a game-tying homer to right center to tie things up at one. It would stay that way into the top of the seventh. Alvello getting into trouble, allowing the first two batters to reach base, but she'd strike out the next two batters. Then, getting out of the jam, a slow roller right back to her, keeping the score knotted at one. So we head to the bottom of the seventh, two on for Washington now. Morgan Flores, her bid to end the game with a shot to right center, stopped by Alyssa Palomino Cardoza making a ranging grab in the gap in right center. We would head to extra innings. No extra inning games in last year's Women's College World Series. We get one in the very first game of this year's tournament. And Deja Mulipola takes Alvello deep in the top of the eighth inning. Straight away center. It's a two-run homer, and Arizona takes game one, three to one. 